Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina and in today's video we're gonna be having quite an adventure. It is going to be my first ever time crossing a border by foot without having any clear plan of what we're actually gonna be doing in the country. At the moment I am in Costa Rica and I can only stay here for 30 days now instead of 90. So we're gonna be having this very spontaneous trip to Nicaragua. The only actual plan that we have is a PCR test. <laughs> oh, I did not miss that. <laughs> which I hope comes back negative because otherwise we are screwed. And we have a booking in a hotel which we're not even sure we're gonna be staying in. So yeah, and with this don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more adventures like this. And let's go. Good morning. I slept super bad. I was dreaming that I got deported, that I was not let into the country, that I forgot to get something for the trip, some documents or whatever. And also the cat was playing with my feet half of the night. <laughs> for the trip, we decided to take just our backpacks. So here's Ranji's backpack and here's mine, which is like twice as small as Ranji's. We arrived at the bus stop in Liberia, but then decided to take a taxi because it was just $3 more per person, but twice as fast as the bus. And we have arrived. No, mi amor, no me las han dado todavía. So here is the entrance to the immigration office. Just gonna exit Costa Rica right now, walk through the buffer zone, I guess, and then enter Nicaragua. We tried to pay our exit fee from Costa Rica online, but unfortunately our card didn't go through. So now we came to this house, which is just a little bit from the border, to pay 10 bucks for the exit fee got our piece of paper for exiting costa rica when you pay this online you only pay eight bucks but over here since they're doing it for you they also charge you fee of two dollars our passports are now stamped we have exited costa rica and now we're on our way to nicaragua and this is how the way is looking like literally there is no sidewalk or anything like that we're just walking in the middle of the street with all the trucks around us this is so crazy! We just walked through the checkpoint, it's right behind us. So it's like a tiny little tent where they check your vaccination and your COVID-19 test. And yes, Nicaragua is still one of the countries which requires you to have the vaccination or the PCR test. And Ranji got super lucky because his vaccination was still valid for another four days. This is the immigration office for Nicaragua. So they just checked our vaccination and PCR test again and gave us these things. Something happened that I was really scared about. I took away my passport and they went away for like five minutes to talk to others. At that point I was thinking, no, I feel like I'm not getting through or something like that. Thankfully, after those five minutes, she came back with a smile on her face, handed everything in and we got through. So now we are in Nicaragua. Well, the border we just crossed is right there. You walk along the road and you get to the bus stop where you can take chicken buses or other kind of buses towards the cities of Nicaragua. So basically the bus just left us here and went the other way so now we're gonna get this tuk-tuk to go to Granada This way has been way too long Granada, Nicaragua! Ooh la la, Ranji! 
Instagram gratis. <laughs> okay, so what time is it right now and what is this for, huh? It's 1, 1 p.m. I need to get, get better, so lime, you know, vitamin C, salt. The rum is actually like really tasty. Nicaraguan rum and apparently it's really really good. Oh, wow, Ranji has got his usual ceviche. And I've got the traditional breakfast with gallo pinto, which is rice and beans, platano, eggs, fried cheese, sour cream. It's really good. Very much like Costa Rican traditional breakfast. It just looks so nice. I love it. I feel like we made a good decision to not stay in Masaya but stay in Granada. And this is our hotel for tonight. And this is our room. Very simple, very small, but it's 20 bucks and it's clean. We got clean towels and soap, everything that we need. So we actually got lucky. This person found us on the streets and helped us to find the hotel. And now he helped us to find the tour operator. And the price is actually amazing because I looked up some prices online and it was like double of what he's offering us here. Muchísimas gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Bye, bye, bye. We got super lucky with that guy. He literally did everything for us. And we tipped him five dollars. We don't have to do anything, basically. And he... Oh! Oh! Oh no. Whoopsies. <laughs> There's literally everywhere on the street you can see Irish pubs, hotels next to them, some party places. I'm guessing this could be like a party street. Chamorro, Joaquin Chamorro, the second name. And on the other side, there is another Chamorro right there. Damn, your family is from Nicaragua, huh? It is, and there are like famous people here. Really? Yeah. Damn. And so we have come to the end of Granada, to the biggest lake here in Nicaragua. The cool thing is that it's so big there are actually huge waves on this lake. It seems like it's not even a lake, it's like a sea or something like that. Here's the little garden right in front of the old church. The other church that I showed you, the orange one, is actually the new one and this one is the old one. So let's check out. This is what it looks like inside. It's not as decorated on the ceiling, but the columns look really nice. And this is our ride for our next activity. And right now, one of my dreams is gonna come true. One of the things on my bucket list. And I'm super excited. Buenas tardes.
So we reached the point. Now we're gonna go up to see the view. Now we are going up there where the cross is. Look at the view. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. From here, yeah, I don't think you can see this volcano crater is considered gates of hell. There used to be sacrifices being done here. It's got a cross up there. Which was actually put up there after an exorcism was performed on the volcano. And now we've come to the second viewpoint. Vidna? <gasps> Smart run, Jiha. <laughs> Excited to eat. Apparently, meat in Nicaragua is really good. Let's see how it is. Oh, la la, look at that, it's spilling. Okay, this is local Nicaraguan beer. How is it compared to Costa Rica? It's a bit more acid. Acidic? Yeah. So, I got myself a really nice shrimp soup. And Ranji got a steak. It looks really good, very juicy. Mm. Gracias. So let's try Nicaraguan steak. Mm. The meat is super soft. And with Malbec. And with Malbec, it's always a bien back. <laughs> this is what this city, and specifically our street that we're living on, turns into at night. I honestly feel like the whole city is out here and it's really cool. I love the ambience of this. If we were not this tired and if we didn't have to travel tomorrow morning, I would definitely stay out. Yeah, next time. Um, yeah. So this is the situation right now. I'm about to go to sleep, but it feels like the party is just right outside our door. We got our hotel without checking what's the main party street in this town. So always, always check what's the main party place of any place that you go to and do not ever get hotels in there. Wish me luck. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, it is day two in Nicaragua and to say that I slept very well, well I can't really say that because half of the night the music was on, I could not sleep through that. Thank God for the noise cancellation earphones, that was the only way I could fall asleep in that noise, I actually felt like I was inside a club, but it's a very fresh and nice morning, now we're gonna go and get some breakfast. I got myself a cappuccino and Ranji already took a sip as you guys can tell. Also pastry. And you've got what is that? Like a lemonade. And a sandwich. This coffee is really nice. Honestly, this makes me so sad. They're standing here in the middle of the day when it's the hottest time and just wait for tourists to come and pay for the ride. It's really sad. Poor horses, guys, don't pay for these kind of things. These horses are suffering from the heat and yeah, sad. So now we're trying to get out of Granada and we were looking for a bus but apparently there are no buses that go straight to the border and it's quite hectic in here so we're trying to catch a taxi right now. taxi from the center to the bus stop to go to another town where we change our buses and go to the border with Costa Rica. 
These buses, which really look a lot like school buses, are called chicken buses, and they are some of the most popular public transportations here in Nicaragua. Yeah, honestly, the quality of this bus is like, yeah, they're dirty and look at the floor, like there is a hole in the floor. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so watch where you sit and where you step once you get on the buses, so you don't just fall through the floor. <laughs> These buses are super old, very old school, <laughs> like literally old school buses. This is the cheapest way to actually ride around Nicaragua. Adventure time! We have arrived in Rivas and now we're gonna take our second bus, another chicken bus, to the border. Hey, show me the water you bought. Ten Cordobas? Ten, ten Cordobas, yeah. So it's like what? It's like 30 cents? Mm. <laughs> well, it's actually quite convenient. Just look at what that person is selling. Why would I need cooking utensils? And now we're going to the border with Nicaragua. Thankfully this time the Nicaraguan side didn't have any questions about my passport. So we are on our way to the Costa Rican border and let's hope they're not going to have any questions either. <laughs> Here comes the Costa Rican side. And welcome back to Costa Rica! Yay! We made it! Wait, 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 give me. Yes! <laughs> Thankfully, there were no questions in there apart from when are you leaving the country. Literally it took me like two minutes to get through. And here is a bus stop and there is a bus which says Liberia. So we're gonna try to get on that one and head back to Liberia. <laughs> 